of the podcast we are the millennials i'm pat and i'm ruby thanks for checking back in with us dang we just did a mic check and i told myself don't get too close to the mic and guess what i just did screamed into the mic <laughs> it happens it's okay um yeah we we're just trying to get the settings right a little bit we have a, we've had a couple of issues and that's okay we're learning as we go learning on the job yeah you know episode 20 comes around and it's not like we've done this 20 19 other times or something we're writing we're directing we're producing uh it's a lot on the plate no we're performing this is a performance and we're guys. The talent so yeah we are the talent i had to get pissed at myself uh because my rider wasn't uh said i didn't i didn't have the drink here ready for me that because that i didn't pick up on my way here <laughs> <laughs> what you're fucking up man man producer pat's fucking up for Pro- talent <laughs> do you talk to, you talk to yourself in these different like hey director pat <laughs> writer pat needs to know what do you want to do no i don't do that i do that but like differently i i talk to myself in like future ruby past ruby present ruby So like future ruby's gonna be pissed at present ruby for doing shit or past Ruby was fucked up. Present yeah. Ruby's good. Future Pat is always pissed at past Pat <laughs> for not doing something right. That's usually how it goes. Right? It's all in retrospect. But yeah, we're about to go check out the SZA concert tonight. That's Dude. gonna be dope. Yo, I'm so excited about it. If you haven't it. listened to SZA, check her out. She's really good. She is really good. What's it? What? What? Okay, so what's her album? Is it Control? It's control. Control. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We've had these issues with like, how do you even say her name? What did we? I've heard S. You guys were calling her S. Z. A. That's what. That's what our friend called her. She was like, "What do I S. C. A." Remain unnamed. Um, but it's SZA. it's SZA. I've been calling her SZA, but I didn't know if I was. Wrong. I read up on it, and she was. Uh, her name is directly influenced by the RZA and the Jizza of the Wu Tang Clan. Nice. Wu Tang forever. Wu Tang Clan. Woo. With the, uh, with the yo, Pat's got all the all the sounds. The RZA, the Jizza. Keep going. Do more. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay. Raekwon. Raekwon the chef. Oh, do you, Do you know any of the people that are opening Ghost up for face her? Killer. <laughs> uh, who else? Uh. ODP. Oh, no, I can't do it. <laughs> ODP. Do DMX. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, or hey, yo, let me get some water and some lemon. Roof. Are you for real? Are you for real thirsty though? Because I didn't even I didn't even get pat a damn drink of no, water. I, I had some iced coffee on my way over here. Dang. Get that energy up. That's probably why you're so hype right now. Yeah. I haven't had coffee. I had two cups this morning, but it's been a long day. Yeah, it's I had to get some. Day. I was moving stuff earlier, and uh, I knew as soon as I sat down, I was going to get a little bit tired. So I was like, I'll get that coffee going so I can keep up the pace. Boosting. Dude, I don't I'm know. I'm more worried about getting tired at the concert, to be honest. I. Like, we need to get a Red Bull or something. Red Bull, not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> it might give you wings, but they don't pay us. Yeah, they don't pay us for that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I have something to bring up. I saw a short clip today uh, of, of our president, President Trump, and he's, I don't know where he was going. He's getting in a car and a reporter shouted out, are you going to attack Korea, North Korea? And he turns around and he goes, we'll see. Thank you. And then he just gets in the car. Like, isn't that? Yeah. Like, why? He said, we'll see. He said, we'll see. Que es eso? Yeah. Like, guys, I don't know. He he don't know. Yeah, shit. <laughs> He's like, we'll see. I might, I might That's not. That's like the parent who's It depends on how day. I feel. <laughs> you know, you're like asking him something that they weren't prepared to answer. That's like the go-to. They're like, we'll, we'll see. see. He's like, 
I don't know what else you would say. I just saw that today. That's what I had to tell you earlier. Yeah, I just don't know about him. I don't think a lot of There's people There's so do. much to say, and it just doesn't... It seems like talking about it has not really done any good. We we here at the Relennials have actively not talked about it, too. Because we have had conversations where we're like, no. We just... We have too many negative things to say about this. Yeah. We're not trying to be too over-political. I mean... I think we talk about things in a way that somewhat demonstrates what how we feel politically, our philosophies, but, you know, we're not trying to drive you listeners and our friends away like that. Uh, we want you here to be entertained, so. And informed. Hopefully this is entertaining. Shit. Yeah, man. It is. I think so. Have you guys been checking out our blogs? If not, go to our YouTube page. Check it out. Dude, check out those vlogs, though. Yeah, they're good. The solar eclipse. We we talked. Okay, so we talked about the solar eclipse, but we didn't talk about the solar eclipse on the podcast. No, we, we haven't, haven't, right? We talked about it. When did we talk about it? On the vlog a little bit, yeah. like afterwards. Yeah, the solar eclipse was dope. But you did the outro for the vlog, yeah, so yeah. we didn't have a conversation about it. The solar eclipse was dope. I feel like... I don't know. I'm big into astrology. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, astrology. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I do feel like it had some effect on a lot of people. But I don't know how how much water that holds. Like, I feel yeah, like everybody's yeah. week, the week of the solar eclipse, was just, like, completely fucked up. Beep that out if you need to. But Yeah, I don't know about that. There is some... Uh... There's some small effects that it has on people. Like, uh, did you know that you weighed less during the solar eclipse because of the aggregate of the force of gravity from the moon and the sun pulling at the same time? For that, what, those 30 seconds, yeah. I was good? I did not know that till just now. Just well, like, I did. You did mention it before, but... Like fractions of a gram, apparently. But you didn't tell us about all the conspiracy theories that were happening oh crap i didn't even read up completely on them but let's just say there was no alien warfare that i heard of uh i did not see any reports of actual lizard people that came <laughs> out of anywhere uh what Maybe else on breitbart on what breitbart what's breitbart you don't have Breitbart? No, is it a website that has conspiracy theories on no, it? no kind of yeah oh. they're a conservative website Breitbart is the is the quote unquote news organization that's like ultra conservative. That's the one that Steve Bannon, who worked for Trump for a while, he yeah. was the head of it, the CEO, I think, maybe not the CEO, but he went and became an advisor for President Trump, and then he recently got fired a couple of weeks ago, a week or, or two ago. And he was in a he was the CEO of that really oh. conservative. Yeah, News. the alt right basically. Oh, when I see. people say alt right, they are talking about the people like Breitbart and the people who subscribe to Breitbart and the philosophy that they present. And it's like they've had some articles that are considered racist, Nazism, uh, all kinds of stuff that's just like basically hate, it's just like producing hatred and. Horrible. False things. Fake news. That's the real fake news, basically. You hear Trump talking about fake news. It was a huge deal whenever Bannon was hired by Trump because of the articles that he's produced under his watch at Breitbart. Yeah. I mean, like, literally things about, like, uh, why gay people should stay in the closet, why uh, Jews or something or other. Like, there's, like, blatant, like, headlines about, like, Jews and gay people and... Uh, white supremacy and things like that and then trump w hired the guy who was responsible for that as an content. advisor yeah wow yeah this is yeah that was part that was a big deal i mean people don't talk about it now he just got fired but i don't know what's going on over there wash i haven't even do you, i don't even know if i want to go to washington dc no our president is it isn't even there half the time so it doesn't matter where's he at where golfing in usually. the world is Donald Trump. I've had a pretty crazy week. I went to the American Royal barbecue thing. Bro, I vlog that you'll see a vlog bro. about that. Bro, 
Uh, you should have had that extra ticket. I know. I didn't even see it until you text me later that night. And I thought to myself, damn, I could have been knee deep in barbecue. It was fantastic. Really? What you like? What was your favorite meat? Uh, the burnt ends. <laughs> the burnt ends. Uh, a Kansas City my specialty. Uh, friend Sal has a tent there. His family has a tent there every year, and they, the Friday night, your people are invited, and it's basically private nights, private parties. Yeah. And then, so they have all their people come, and they eat, and they get, you know, uh, have a lot of fun and hang out. And, uh, yeah, that bur- those burnt ends were amazing. Oh, my gosh. Um, so it was a brisket. And then so, but then we went over to uh, uh, this other place. They ushered us. We went to walk around because I was trying to get some footage for the vlog. Yeah. And uh, we were walking around. These people, like, ushered us into this other party. And they're like, come in. It's free. Like, free. Uh, it wasn't free drinks. Or was it? If he doesn't remember, it was free drinks, It was guys. probably, I mean, it was definitely free food. <laughs> there was, like, food there. There was, like, brisket tacos. They were, like, delicious. And then, uh, I forget which tenant it was, but it was really fun. And there was, uh, Big Poppy was there, David Ortiz. He's, a, like, an MLB Hall of Famer. And, like, we hung out with him and met that dude. And what? Yeah. I got some footage with him. And then, uh, we played some, like, rings there. Almost won this contest. Um, and then we just continued walking around to this other tent because some people there sold us some tickets to this other tent Mm -hmm. for dirt cheap. And that's how I got that ticket. I was trying to give it to you. Oh, dang. And then, so, and the the reason we got them is because it was like all you can drink, like anything you want to drink. The tent we were at, which was cool, but they just had like cake beer. Yeah. But so we were like, oh, they're like, oh, all you can drink whiskey, beer, and it's like Guinness and, and like other kinds of good beers, you know? No wonder you were hurting the next day. <laughs> yeah, and so we were in there, and um, there was a band playing, and we were like getting all crunk to the band. They were like a cover band playing all the jams. And so we were getting a little loose in there, and we would go, and then we would go back and forth to the tent and like get food, and then just keep walking around and like go back to that place, keep drinking, and uh that's america for you guys right there it kind of makes me sound like an alcoholic i talk a lot about drinking (laughs) on the vlogs and on the podcast but that i mean those are the only times i drink i feel like those are the only times i do fun stuff like socially drinking drinking. i mean listen pat if you tell me that you're at home drinking vodka straight then we have issues but if you're out ever ever drink at home yeah so if you if, if you're out and you're having a beer i you know what i really do like going out and having a beer but Lately, beer's been hurting, hurting yeah. me. Like, I what I watched a video that said having a beer is like having seven, seven slices of bread. Oh, that, yeah. that really fucked me up for a little bit. I was like, dang, I don't even eat bread, and I'm having, you know, if I have two beers, I have fourteen slices of bread. That's a loaf. <laughs> Damn, that's a loaf. That's a loaf. That's why you just don't eat carbs and drink beer only. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we did Uber home. We Ubered there and Ubered back. So not sponsored. But uh, not sponsored. <laughs> um, but it was a really good night. It was the night was beautiful. The weather was perfect. Oh, it was uh, so there nice. Was bands out. We ran into um, another lady that we worked with, and we talked to her for a while. Did yeah, you? Do you know who won? Who? When? When do they give out the results? Guys, the American we'll Royal is out. is sure this we'll is out. one of the it's a. Uh, is it the Super Bowl of barbecue or one of it's, the Super Bowls? Uh, the biggest barbecue contest i think and or slash get together and or slash festival whatever you want to call it in the world yes and i should know this stuff people call come from all over the country if not the world we saw this japanese tent that had like samurai swords out and stuff it was tight no way you know i want to get a samurai sword i don't have one currently you have to go earn it i know a close friend, a Japanese friend, once told me that. Mm, I forgot how it goes. It was a Japanese <laughs> saying about samurai swords. <laughs> you need to call that Japanese friend up and ask him. I was I asked them to bring me a sword back in Japan, and they're like, "When the student is ready, the sword shall appear," or something like that. <laughs> I was like, "Oh!" But I want it. I want it right I'm now. Not ready. You're not ready. One I'll day. Get one though. I'm gonna have one. One day you're going to be walking down the street and there's going to be a samurai sword just right there. And you're going to be like, what? I need a Itori Hanso sword. What is that? The sword from Kill Bill. 
Oh, no. Didn't know that. Yeah. You've seen Kill Bill, right? No, I haven't seen uh, Kill Bill. Uh, I know. I've seen parts of Kill Bill. I have not sat down and watched the entire Kill Bill yeah, from beginning to end. Watch Kill Bill. There's a lot of movies that I haven't seen. One of the greatest movies ever. One of, in my opinion, one of Quentin Tarantino's best. That's what I hear. Films. That's what I hear. So good. I know. I need, to, I need to be a better student of film. Like, there's a lot of movies that I haven't seen. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we've just been busy with that. Uh, that was really fun. And then I didn't do much on Saturday. Yeah, because you were hungover. <laughs> I was resting. That's true. I have a busy week ahead of me. And you know what? That's okay, That's too. Because this is a long weekend. This is a rest weekend. Mm, my plans changed. Uh, I ended up staying in Kansas City this weekend. I was supposed to be going out of town. Didn't happen. Use use that time to practice a little self care, self love, uh, sort of like you know. Oh, can I talk about the situation that happened at the barbecue? What happened? It, things got a little bit. Uh oh! Did you get in a fight? You didn't tell me. It's just weird. No, uh, it wasn't me. It was an acquaintance. <laughs> Uh, that I know that was there and we were walking around and to be fair it was one of those situations where like everybody was drinking and like for 90% of the night um, that we were around this acquaintance we were at um, basically adult places only like he, we were like hitting on women and like you know, making our rounds and socializing. So then we make it back to this tent that we were at. Yeah. And there, it's a family-friendly environment there. So there are, like, young people there and stuff like that. Like and this kids. acquaintance of ours, like, made the mistake of, like, hitting on an underage girl. Oh. And her dad was there. No. Yeah. And it was, like, it got ugly kind of quick. And I was just like, hey, uh, I'm really sorry. Like, um... I invited this acquaintance over, and uh, I didn't prep him for the situation. Like, it, to be fair to him, we were in an environment where we were, like, talking to grown women all night, and he was not prepared and was not informed that we were walking into, like, family-friendly environment or, like... Dang. So he was drunk. He was pretty loose, and he probably just didn't realize. Like, the girl was really young, though. <laughs> I won't even say her age, but it looked like she, you know, it, it was in, in the dark. It looked like she could be, like, roughly, you know, 18 Legal. Uh, so, so what happened afterwards? What did the dad say? Oh, so my gosh. So it was a big thing, and, like, um, the acquaintance actually left, and then I had to – I actually sat the dad down and the daughter down and explained to them, like, I'm sorry this happened, like um, – I hope, I don't know exactly what was said between him and her in the first place, but I did tell her, I was like, nobody, uh, I apologize, first of all, I explained to them the situation that he didn't understand, he was walking into a family-friendly environment, Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, and I don't know what was said, but I hope he wasn't disrespectful towards you, and I hope that you understand that uh, if he was, that behavior is unacceptable by any means, and, um, you know, I apologize that you had to go through something like that uh, that you weren't prepared to deal with. And so, like, he was gl- he was glad I sat them both down and, like, explained that to her. He was glad that, like, she heard what I had to say about the situation. And uh, to recognize that she should never be made to feel uncomfortable was the most important thing by, like, a man or a stranger or anybody like that. So uh, I think he appreciated that conversation when it was all said and done. And then, like, everybody was chill after that. So... But it was just like, it got a little weird there for a minute, and, you know, people were drunk, and, um... I think that's the right way to handle the situation, because honestly, now that you're saying it, me being in, like, me just thinking about being present in the situation, I, I don't know exactly how I would react to it, especially if it's a young woman and her father, like, that's kind of awkward already. You have to yeah. deal with the dad of an underage person. Right. So, uh, overall, like, I, and I don't know what was said by any means, uh, exactly. I don't know the whole side of the story, but I did, 
um, try to make it clear to them that, like, nobody's okay with that situation and that, like, anything that we need to do to make it right, like, let's make it right. So, yeah. But it ended up being all right. I don't think anything actually really bad happened. It was just, like, you know, probably some... S- I imagine some slightly inappropriate, like, hitting out flirting or something like that. Like, pick up line, like, you're pretty, or, yeah, or, or like you're that. here with your boyfriend, or just um, any version of that that we all, all of us ladies hear sometimes. So... Where's your man at? Yeah. Why little, did your ma- Why did your boyfriend let you go out by yourself tonight? Like, uh, <laughs> do you want to keep, do you want me to keep going? Oh, that's, that happens. But, um... So it all got squashed and like we ate more food and, and drank a little bit more. But by that time, I was like definitely ready to go home. I was tired. It was Friday. I worked that morning. I had to know I had to. But deal did with you go it. somewhere? I, didn't know I had to mediate the situation. A, a situation <laughs> like that. I was not prepared for that either. And well, yeah, it's cool. But it's you're cool. Pre- you were prepared though because you handled it. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you go anywhere afterwards? No, I went home and went to bed. That's we, true. Well, yeah, I went home. I started posting on Facebook, apparently. <laughs> I know. I saw that, and I was like, is Pat, why is Pat still awake? Or uh, why was Pat awake so late? I mean, yeah. I, li- I liked it still. Got you a like. So. Uh, my friend passed out on my couch, and I was, like, sitting in my living room, like, bumping music. It's, like, 4 in the morning. <laughs> and I had all my stereo, so it was, like, hella loud. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I was just, like, sitting there. I was... I was laughing because earlier in the day I had played some like old music that uh, old rap of mine that I let my coworkers listen to. And me and this chick, we have like a funny relationship. We don't like hate each other or anything like that, but we uh, talk a lot of smack on each other. Yeah. And uh, that friendly competition. Yeah, and so like sh- we get into a conversation about like what rappers are good and which ones aren't or whatever, and she likes all these new rappers like. Little Two Uzi, chains, little Uzi like Burt. all these, yeah. Little Uzi Vert was one that came up, <laughs> and like, basically, she's all on that stuff. And so, I was like, yeah, I was like, those dudes are garbage or whatever. And I was like, I'm qualified to say this because I have, you know, because I rap and I listen to rap or whatever. And I was like, we we got to talking, and I was like, yeah, I have something or whatever I'll share. So I played this like old freestyle. And uh, one of the lines was like, how does it go? Oh, it's like, I'll super smash on you with more bros than Nintendo. I can't stand you like the rain against my window. I'll kill you with my flows like I kill the pain with endo. But I'll know, uh, but I'll know me and Thindes or something like that. Uh... And uh, so she was listening to that. And I was expecting her to like talk trash, like hardcore. And she was like, yo, low key, you got bars. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. You're like, I know. I've been telling you. But um, I'm telling you. Anyways, that was a funny. Pat does have bars. Thing. I've heard his stuff. He, sh- he needs to come out with a mixtape. Mixtape. Mix yeah. Tape, I was thinking mix, about coming out of retirement mix, to drop tape, a demo or something. Tape. You know, you know, I'll help produce. And I, we're definitely putting some interludes in there. And uh, I just really like those phone call voicemail <laughs> like like that's i would make an entire like the podcast we do with addison <laughs> yes but instead it has to be like a voicemail like i just can't i i love those tracks where they have a voicemail at the end or at the beginning and somebody's calling like oh i don't know why the best one is um from that tlc album crazy sexy cool do you remember that album i do remember the album but what one of the interludes where she's like talking to the dude and it's like a voicemail style or whatever, and she's like at the end, she oh she's trying to sound all sexy the whole time, and it's like a minute long or whatever. And she's talking to this dude, saying all this stuff, and then she's like, "Yeah, I need you to like pass me that." And uh, I think I can't remember if he was talking back or whatever, but she's like, "Yeah, I need you to uh, pass me that toilet paper so I could wipe my ass or something." <laughs> <laughs> like, Ugh. it was hilarious. What? I didn't ever hear that. Um, one of my favorites is. Uh... Uh, Chris Rock on Kanye song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Blame Game? Yeah. Oh, man. Easy that's Taught a, Me. That's such a good song. That is a good song. That's one of my favorites. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's the there's like Kevin the Hart. Bezel? Kevin Hart's on a few. Like, oh, whose album was it? Was it The Games? I think he's on The Games. 
one of the game's Kevin albums. Hart. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Or on Trey Songs. Game is so dope. He's such a good Dude, rapper. the game is so dope. He follows me on Twitter. What up? He also follows like 50,000 other people. But I was up there early. Well, yeah, how many followers did he have? Give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a call the game. Um, I don't know. Twitter's dead, though, so who cares? Yeah. We s- you heard it here yeah. first. Twitter is dead. Guys, listen. Can I just rant for a little bit? We have all the, st- we have all the new stuff. We have all the new stuff. Tell your friends. You're going to hear it from us, and then you're going to hear it from other people in like a month afterwards. Just yeah. be informed first and take what we're saying and use it. Rant over. <laughs> Easy 2020. That was a short rant. <laughs> that was a short rant. So, yeah, we're trying to get it together. We're producing vlogs now. Surely you've checked them out. We're Surely. We're get better at those, too. i got to get better at video editing. I and do, some too. Final cut stuff going. You know, I want to do more practical stuff, too, though. You know, just camera work. Uh, it's Guys, it's a process, but, you know, we're out here learning about it. Um, that's And we have actually planned for this. We have... We have Since we began, we told ourselves we had to give ourselves a learning curve. We have to learn how to do things. And it's a process. So I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. I wish we could be more... uh, I don't know. I wish wish we could concentrate more on it. But that's just not... We're just not able to do that right now. It's a a time management thing. We like... I mean, we both work. We both have, have other commitments. Yeah. We've, we've both had a lot of bullshit pop up in yeah. the past few months, so... It's going, though. Yeah, it's, it's going. going. It is going. Damn, I was about to bring up another story, and I forgot what it was. Was it about... What's been going on in current current events? What's the newest story? Oh, yeah. Uh, Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. I that- hope everybody's okay. I hope nobody had anything too devastating go on i have a few friends in houston i was checking up on them just making sure they're good i've been seeing i i mean you know it's interesting to keep up with people also like on snapchat and on instagram stories yeah they're throwing out like you know video pictures of what they're actually seeing that's kind of interesting to me because really the only coverage we're getting is what like uh national news right? right we're not seeing anything local most of the time. Um, so that's been interesting. But I know a lot of people that I know are okay. There's There was a lot of help, too. A lot of people were trying to help. Yeah. You know, donating. Yeah. I caught a little bit of flack on Facebook because I uh, was... I said uh, people <laughs> need to donate money to Houston because uh, I'd rather have... Syrian refugees here in my city than a bunch of Texans coming up here. I saw that. I thought it was hilarious because I know you're just being, you're just being like extra. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny. What did people say to of, that? I don't know. I think people think well, I'm rude. I thought it was kind of funny because I, kn- I know you're, <laughs> it's just like a stab at Texas. I'm not joking. <laughs> he was serious. I was dead uh, ass serious. I saw a meme of dead ass serious and it was just an ass in a casket. <laughs> uh, that's going to be the cover for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> oh, guys, this is going to be dope. I can't wait. We're going to do a vlog on it. <clears throat> yeah, we'll vlog it. We'll vlog part of it at least. Hopefully we don't get no copyright violations. That reminds me, we have a, one of our podcast i still have to put back up it sucks because that one there was a lot of editing to it and i was like i tried to do it and put it back up and i was like oh fuck this i'm gonna do this another day you guys can listen to it later uh number 16 we'll repost that very very special podcast if you didn't get to check it out check it out in the future yeah so we're gonna move to video format soon Mm -hmm. so be on the lookout for that literally keep your eyes open keep your eyes peeled oh i do have something to bring up uh, do you know that Facebook just launched a live or a video streaming service? Not live. You sent just that link a, to me. I did just not a, open it. Just a video. Sure <laughs> just a video. So it's kind of like cable and YouTube on Facebook. 
So there's there's actually shows already going on. It's really interesting. It's going to keep people on Facebook. I don't know. This is going to change how people... Because, well, okay. Because YouTube already has changed how people watch, like, watch content. Because right. people aren't, aren't watching, like, TV shows as much um, live. They are watching it, you know, pre-recorded on Netflix, on Hulu. But now on Facebook, you can go get similar content. And it's all it's all shows. Like, there's, um, what's his name? What's his name? The guy that does Dirty Jobs. Micro. Micro. Micro has a show on there yeah and i mean it's i don't i think it ranges from short content like probably like three or four minutes to longer longer stuff but i think it's going to change not change anything but it's going to keep people on face like it's it's making facebook stronger especially if they because now you get like i get alerts i don't get alerts from netflix i get maybe an email if you sign up for it but i don't get alerts and i don't see anything new on netflix until i log into netflix and it says new releases you know I get emails from netflix i get emails from netflix too but it's i don't read them i don't read the emails <laughs> but like on facebook i i get a notification when a new episode of the shows that i've subscribed to came out oh yeah. so like i'm already on facebook you know catching up with my friends seeing what's going on on uh i'm constantly on that uh, I, you're not gonna know about it it's called girls girls love travel it's a Facebook group. It's got like 20,000 girls that love to travel. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm always on there checking stuff out. So, you know, if I get pinged while I'm on Facebook and there's a new show, I'm going to probably go watch it. So this is just going to keep fit people on Facebook a lot longer. I don't know how that's going to compete with Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter right now as a, as a as, social media. As long media. as people are on their phones, those are safe. Twitter, yeah, that's I just, true. I think Twitter is just so limited in its functionality and the fact that it's more like a connector. I see it now, like with links. It'll it can move you to Facebook. It can move you somewhere else. But it's I don't like even see it as that. I feel like it's an extra step. It's like extra, 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 extra. Like don't it's even like get on really, it. It's like, dead. At least for me, it's annoying because like I don't know. I have an Android phone or whatever, and so it's like I'll try to. S- scroll through Twitter and I have to like click to like open the pictures and like click to like see the video or whatever and it's mm-hmm. like if it's just there and it's in the in the feed, feed it's easier but they make you do all this extra stuff and then it's so limited on the 140 characters is just not enough so I don't know Instagram is where it's at Facebook is obviously like everyone's on there too I don't know there's gonna be something new I'm sure Eventually, something new will come along that will probably be, you know, not Facebook off and Instagram off. But what do you? I don't know of any other. Even Snapchat's falling off a little bit because since Instagram got their stories going. Yeah, I know for sure. I stopped using Snapchat when Instagram stories came out. I went back to Snapchat because my phone was fucking up for a while. So Snapchat's really one of the only things that like worked kind of normally. It's nice for chatting though because I'll chat with people on snapchat it's just easy to get into because i can chat with a bunch of people oh is it making noise yeah i can hear it i need i need i need i need uh where are we at yeah i still gotta get ready like so it was nice having addison on yeah i really enjoyed that i really Uh enjoyed that that was a really good conversation i hadn't we hadn't talked in a really long time, him and I, before that. Really? Probably, like, like know, five years. What? The last time you talked, was it in person or on the phone? I think, well, I th- we had written each other a few handful of times, like, on Facebook uh, messages, but in person, at least probably five years or so. Dang. Yeah, that was a really good podcast. He had been, he's been living in Colorado for a while. Lucky. Um, but he, um, we were talking and we we're like, yeah, we need a podcast again. Cause like that one was really uh, kind of uptight and formal. It's like, we need to be way more loose on it. Especially if you know me and Addison from back in the day, uh, <laughs> like we're probably like the least like official or at least formal 
pair of friends like you could ever imagine. <laughs> and that was a pretty formal conversation. That's what's funny to me. Yeah, me too. But it is good. I, uh, we Yeah, I want to do more interviews like that. Or interviews, I guess you can call it an interview, but more of a conversation. And uh, just open up, get to some questions, get get deep into some conversations with people that are working in roles or exposed to things that we're not, you know. Yeah, we have a we have some lined up too. We have a few people that we've been keeping tabs on and trying we, to schedule things with. We may or may not be in contact with Elon Musk. Oh, what? I told you not to say anything about that. I know. Guys, Remember, Elon must listen to it. Listens to our podcast. So we have some exciting stuff coming up in the future. Hopefully, you guys will be tuned in for that. Yeah, maybe you guys will get an exclusive on the future of SpaceX. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. So maybe we should just wrap this up. We'll call it an early night. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out the SZA show. SZA. Yeah, I still need to get ready. So we should. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, B. Wrap, and then you guys will see all the video. Uh, if you guys... What's your favorite... Let, let's talk about this. What's your favorite SZA song right now? Oof. Uh, mm. It's hard, right? She has a bunch that I like. Like, the whole album is really good. Um, Did you hear her new one with Maroon 5? Uh-uh. She just came in. She's about to blow up. Dude. I feel like a lot of people listening to this are like, who's SZA? And then, like, a couple months from now... They're going to be like, I think I heard this before. Like, Where oh. did I hear about her? Oh, the podcast, because they're always dropping the fresh stuff. Always dropping the fresh stuff. I tried to, Me and Eric actually tried to sneak into a SZA. SZA was at Liberty Hall in Lawrence, like, dang, maybe like two years ago when me and Eric lived together there, and we tried to sneak in, and it didn't work out. Dang. Usually I can sneak in places, but this one was difficult. Um, so we sat outside all sad, like, <laughs> but now I get to see her. I so. think The weekend. that song still... I do like The weekend. I like um, Drew Barrymore is a good song. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that was in the wind. That song, Kendrick Moore. Yeah, that's, really nice. that's a good one, too. Normal Girl is a good one, too. Oh, man. They're all good. Just go listen to the her. The show is sold out tonight. It's sold out in Lawrence, like, super fast, and it's going to, and it's sold out here at the Uptown. Uptown? Uptown. Up, up uptown. 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 But maybe we'll end up at Uptown. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> From the Uptown to the Uptown. I'm back around again. So we're going to wrap it up. we got to get going to the show. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, we have way more coming out the rest of the year we have video logs coming out guys send us an email come on give us oh we need to do another question we do actually you know what this is this is our chance guys thank you for staying on this song with us but send us some questions we'll give you some good advice yeah we're guaranteed and if it's bad just don't take it (laughs) win-win uh hit us up at the email we've had some people hit us up I've had a bunch of people hit me up in person. Yeah, I've had Facebook which messages. Which is fine. And that's fantastic. We appreciate any and all support. But hit us up um, with content ideas if you're interested in something like that. Or even collaborating. Um, we're more than excited and more than ready to be working with some new people. And, and get some new opinions and perspectives and stuff going on the podcast. Yeah. Got to expand your mind and ours. And uh, yeah, let's do it. 2017. 2017. All right, we're well, Lenny signing off. All right, see you guys. I'm Pat. Oh, I'm Ruby. We'll see you next time. Deuces.